To go over our ingredients for albondigas. When I make albondigas, I make a huge batch. It's cooked in a big pot and I invite family and friends over and we just have a wonderful dinner. Now we're gonna start out by needing some beef. This is lean beef, 90, 90% lean, 10% fat. You don't need this real fatty because if it has a lot of fat content, the, the balls are gonna shrink up really, really small. So you wanna make sure that you get a lean uh, ground beef. When it comes to the measurements, you can see I got a lot of stuff here, but uh, in the recipe, I'll leave you guys a measured out recipe. Uh, I got some family coming over and I just need a little bit of extra food. To make our meatballs, we're gonna need some egg, a little bit of chopped up cilantro. This is really, really minced. That's about one tablespoon or so. And you're also gonna be, you're gonna need some mint. Now, mint is very strong. I've seen some recipes where they add in the whole, like, bunch of mint. That is, that's a lot of mint. Uh, you only need a little bit. Uh, so, I would say about a half of a ta tablespoon per pound of meat that you're using. So, I got a little over two pounds right here. You're gonna need some oregano, cumin, garlic powder, and then just some salt. And you're also gonna need some white rice. Now, this is par-cooked rice. I cook this in some boiling water for about seven minutes. You do not want to cook this all the way through, you just need it part cooked. Now if you put the rice in uncooked, your meatballs are going to break apart because the rice expands and you're just going to have a mess. So you're basically going to just ground beef soup is what you'll end up having. Now when we make the soup, I'm going to be seasoning up the water with some Nors beef bouillon, consomme, that's what we call it. You can use beef stock or beef broth. It, I, I think it's just easier just to season with the Norse beef bouillon. Then we're also going to be needing some chayote. This is a squash. It's a really delicious squash. You're going to need some calabacitas. That's just another squash. Uh, a couple potatoes chopped up pretty big. Uh, a half of medium chopped, uh, coarse chopped onion. A couple carrots and some celery. And then to final it all off, we're just going to need a can of crushed tomatoes. Peeled crushed tomatoes, you just want that tomato flavor. Uh, for the size that I'm doing, I'm going to need this size, but uh, like I said in the recipe, I'll be leaving all the measurements, so that way if made a smaller family, you know, I've got probably about 10 people that I'm going to be feeding, so uh, yeah, just uh, go by the recipe that I put, that'll be for about 5 to 6 people. Now in a big pot with our hamburger meat, we're going to go ahead and add in all of our meatball ingredients. That's the mint, cilantro. Now I'm going to be using a little bit more cilantro to put in the soup, but uh, that's that's for later on. Add in our garlic powder, cumin, oregano, the rice. Now I let this cool down. It's not super super hot. You don't want it hot either. <laughs> Burn your fingers. This is a little over two pounds. I want to say I probably need about about a teaspoon and a half of salt to about two teaspoons. But season to taste. Okay, now we'll go ahead and drop in our egg. And we'll just hit it with a little bit of cracked black pepper. All right, the fun part, get you some gloves, this does get messy. Let's go ahead and start mixing everything. All right, now we'll just get our meatballs. We'll form our meatballs. Just about that. So we'll go ahead and make our meatballs and then we'll get our water going for our soup. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add a couple tablespoons of Nora's beef bouillon. Now you can use beef stock uh, if that's to your preference, that's what you can use. But uh, I like using Nora's chicken bouillon. I don't have to keep buying beef stock. All right, so I have the heat set to medium high heat. We're just gonna let this come to temp and once we get a slight boil, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding in our meatballs. So a little tip that my grandma showed me a long time ago. Just put it in there. Kind of dump your meatball in. Let it start to discolor a little bit. See how it's discoloring? And just go ahead and drop it in. So we'll get all our meatballs in here. And uh, once these are fully cooked, then we'll go ahead and add in the remainder of the ingredients. 
Now that we have all of our meatballs in the pot, we're gonna let this cook for about six to eight minutes. It cooks really fast. Um, the rice is already cooked, so we're gonna give that another, just say six to seven minutes to fully cook that, but the beef will be done fairly quick. So once your meatballs are done, then we'll be adding in the rest of our ingredients. All right, so let's go ahead and check on our meatballs. All right. Perfect, fully cooked. Let's give it a try, see how these taste. Oh yeah, that's gonna be some good stuff right there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our can of crushed tomatoes. Now, right now is the time that you actually wanna taste the broth. If you feel it needs more salt, go ahead and add more salt to your taste. We're gonna add in our potatoes, add in our squash, our calabacita. Add in our chayotes, along with our carrots, celery, and onion. So now that we got the seasoning done, I got the broth seasoned to how I like it and how my kids will like it. They're, they like it a little bit less saltier than what I would, so I just go by that, because if uh, I season it like how I do, they'll be like, it's too salty. So uh, to, I go to a certain point and be like, okay, if, that's, if it needs like a little bit more, I'll be like, okay, that's perfect for them. So for the rest of this, all we're going to be doing is letting this cook. Obviously, we shock the temperature. It has to come back up to temp. So we're going to just let this come to temp, and we're going to let it cook until the potatoes, the carrots, and obviously the squash are, are pretty much tender. So want to add in a little bit of chopped cilantro. We'll go ahead and give this a mix, and we'll let it do its thing. All right, so we'll cover with the lid. We'll let it come to temp and let, let it cook. As soon as the potatoes and everything are done, we're ready to serve. Let's go ahead and check to see if our potatoes are done. Because how big the potatoes are, that's what I'm be worried about right now. Yep, we're good. Okay. Let's just go ahead and serve up a bowl and see how this tastes. Albonigas is just comfort food for me. It reminds me of just my mother, my grandmother, you know, whipping up a nice, wonderful soup and just sharing it with the whole family. The broth has so much flavor. Some really good stuff. This reminds me of a Sunday afternoon spending time with the family. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that way you can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. I have these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care. So what do you guys think, kiddos? It was good. Just like grandma's uh, album, you guys? Mm -hmm, more amazing. More amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. You know why? It's because daddy added a little bit of tomato into the soup. Mm, that's why I think it's that, was, that was a secret ingredient right there. That's why I think tomato.